love you all so very much. You are beautiful, glorious. You are the essence of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I just wanted to release this word um, for us to be able to understand that in this season, uh, you know, with all this witchcraft that is going on and things like that, we have to be uh, cautiously uh, sober and vigilant at the same time. Yes, that's what the scripture says. And I wanted to speak this word because the Bible says, whatever my father has not planted, I will uproot. Yes, he's uprooting whatever that he has not planted. And um, it's a place that majority of us, I believe in times past, we have walked down the wrong path. And for that path in which we have walked, which I'm going to explain in a minute, is what sometimes has caused losses. Because a lot of times we do things for the sake of love. Remember? King Solomon, he married many foreign women, and because of that in itself, it caused a whole lot of losses. So it's not about the foreign women, but it's about the word love. So a lot of us have done things because of love, and because we didn't understand the consequences of what we were doing, it has eventually, later in life, created losses. So you can see that even at some point, it might seem like everything is doing, is looking so good, is going well. But then it comes to a point that, hey, you know, something has happened along the line. What is going on? Most of the time, it is not because of, you know, I, I, I want to help us to understand that sometimes it is not the devil. It is the Lord who has just basically shut it down and he's bringing correction. So in some cases, it's not because, you know, uh, 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 it's not because somebody is doing witchcraft or things like that. No, not at all. But the Lord is trying to correct because some of us have given away inheritance to the wrong people. And the dimension of that inheritance is on the basis of what? Next of kin. Can you see that dimension? So for some people, we've, you know, you've used that in, you know, because of love, you used probably your partner at, the, at that particular moment. And then you came into Christ and then you began to what? You began to uh, uh, bring everything back in alignment with the will of God. Can you see that? And it is for that reason that the Lord is bringing restoration. And for some of you, you have to understand that it's either it was taken by through diabolical means or witchcraft or whatever it is. And the Lord is helping you to understand that losses have come because somebody got greedy, you know, with that in itself, ran with it and then created losses in your life. So that's why I spoke the two dimensions. For some people, the Lord shut it down because, so you know, it's a place where your inheritance is going to somebody else. And then someone else is basically taking that in itself and trying to use it and what? And manifest your inheritance to basically take possession of it. Right? Yes. Right. So in the context of it is where I want us to see where this next of kin you know, is manifesting from because a lot of us might, you know, they might have used it in our lives without understanding, you know, uh, where, you know, people use next of kin or your passport next of kin, driver's license next of kin, you know, on important documents next of kin. But you didn't understand that next of kin, <laughs> you know, is basically like what if something happens, you know, your inheritance can be passed on to that person in itself, or this person is the person in charge until. Can you see that? So majority of us, because we are not aware of things spiritually, that is why the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They steal things via the spirit. Can you see? And those who are using, you know, who are working in, in this charismatic witchcraft, they use this in ignorance in the lives of those who are sons of God. Can I share with you a testimony before I basically, you know, help us to understand that. And because the Lord is showing mercy. So this is the essence of it. He's showing mercy. So I remember while I was at uni, I believe I've, I've shared, you know, my relationship journey with, you know, on this channel. And there was a, a person that I was dating at uni at that particular moment. And I didn't realize that the father was into witchcraft. Can you see that? So the person was, you know, she's born again and things like that. And, you know, such as she's an amazing person. But then the father was walking in witchcraft. And, you know, that's why I said sometimes the parents can be and the children are not even aware of it. So in that dimension, I wanted to basically renew my driver's license. Can you see that? I wanted to renew my driver's license. And because she was, you know, a, a partner at that particular moment, I decided to use her. 
Can you see that? So I use her as the next of kin on the driver's license. So what eventually happened? You know, many years, I'm talking about, you know, almost 13, 14, 15 years down the line, you know, and losses were happening. I began to ask the Lord, help me to understand why these losses was happening. It was then the Lord began to show me that person, the father, can you see the father has basically because you use the daughter as a next of kin he has taken that in itself and gone to the coven or witchcraft or whatever it is and he had begun to what begun to transfer inheritance can you see that dimension yes he had begun to transfer that inheritance and this is where you find this scripture Remember in Ruth chapter 3, he said, And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth, thine handsmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thy handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. Can you see? And he said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my daughter, for thou hast shown more kindness in the latter than at the beginning, inasmuch as thou followest not young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to thee all that you requirest for all the city of my people doth not know that thou art a virtuous woman and now it is true that i am thy near kinsman how bait there is a kinsman nearer than i so you can see for for uh, uh for ruth uh boaz was the what <laughs> was the next of kin and then he said hey there is one before me so i have another next of kin so can you see and then he began to say if he doesn't redeem you <laughs> i will so you can begin to understand so this is where it all came from next of kin so that means if something happens to that person you, you can see that before he could basically take possession of ruth and her belongings he had to go to the next of kin first so you can see that this this is the dimension in which they used to transfer in the realm of the spirit. Can you see that? So for majority of you, because it's your inheritance. So you can see this man wanted to, you know, he wanted to lay, wanted to basically, you know, marry Ruth basically. And by marrying Ruth, he's going to lay claim to inheritance as well. So he was saying, no, I have to go to one who is much, uh, you know, of a higher rank than me. He's my next of kin too. So I have to ask for his permission first. So you can begin to see how they traded with what? With a sandal. So sometimes he's using things like you know those application forms you sign it and then upon signing it is my next of kin so anything happens they alert the next of kin and then everything you have is transferred to the next of kin so that's why majority i believe i was sharing why some people you know they come to your dreams they kill you off in the dream uh, you know waiting to manifest in the spirit so that they can begin to transfer your inheritance which they have already started since they planned it out in dreams and for some of you you know it might not be witchcraft in itself it's basically what it's basically the father saying i have shut it down because you know why that person is not whom you're supposed to be with so you using them on your application form or whatever it is as your next of kin was absolutely wrong can you see that so now he's restoring that to make the necessary corrections so it's a place you have to go to the lord father you know i repent of using that person as my next of kin and i renounce the agreement and the very what the manifestations and whatever covenant is established you know just ask holy ghost to help you to repent of it and then reconcile it back to yourself can you see that because some of you you know this is why some of you you know there is probably lack there is probably you know uh, uh, losses happening because of that dimension of next of kin so you can see hence the reason why the father is saying for some people i shut it down because for the blessing i want to bless you i don't want it to go to somebody else remember before the Lord can say, I'm going to bless you, it begins with the word. In the beginning was the word. And what did the Bible call the word? Who did Jesus say the word is? The word is spirit and it is life. So that means if that person is your kinsman, it's a word in the beginning of that blessing. So that person is a kinsman, is a spiritual dimension. So for them, blessing, if the Father is going to bless you, so if they basically done and gone and plotted things in the realm of the spirit, can you see that trans that is being transferred to that other person? can you see that so that is why you see that scripture john 10 10 and the thief has come to steal to kill and to destroy stealing the inheritance 
killing you off and then destroying completely what the father has ordained so that they can basically inherit. But he says, I have come to give life and give it what? Abundantly. So for this restoration to happen, he's helping you to understand as you basically repent of this in itself, then reconcile it back to you. The inheritance that is supposed to be yours is once again restored. So you can see what the person's what the person's father did he was stealing the inheritance in the realm it was basically and you know as the father basically revealed it he was enjoying himself because he has had free access because of you know the ignorance of using the daughter as the next of kin <laughs> can you see that in itself so this is where the lord is basically wanting to restore that back to you so for any person that has walked in this dimension you know is asking you to make corrections of it and i release the forgiveness of the lord he says your sins are forgiven of you and i bless you with the mercy of god yes i do i bless you with his mercy so in this dimension uh please make the necessary changes if this applies to you you know just basically you know just if you've basically made out forms and things like that, whatever form it is, just renounce it, you know, and just basically restore, you know, whoever, whoever the Lord is asking you to use. Can you see? I'm not saying don't use anybody. I'm only helping us to understand that you need to ask the Lord, Father, who can I use? And then he will direct you. It's always honoring when we ask the Lord. Can you see that in itself? It's always, always honoring because that in itself, you know, that means you're trusting the Father, not the people. Father, I don't know the people, but you know them. So whom, you know, is, you know, whom is your suitable uh, a, a person for me to basically use as a next of kin? That's for some of you if you decide to use somebody else and not your family. And for some of you, even if it is your family, you still have to take it to the Lord. Yes, that's why I said woe to the one that trusts in man so you have to take it to the lord so just because they're your family don't say <laughs> don't go and start saying because they're your family i want to use them too it's best you ask the lord just like i said so that girl can be using her own father as a next of kin but look at what the father is doing in that regard can you see that in itself <laughs> to god be the glory so i just want to release this onto each and every one of you and the mercy of the lord be upon you it says be merciful for you also shall obtain mercy Mercy. And I declare that your inheritance upon you in obedience to what the Lord is instructing. And as you obey the instruction, your inheritance is reconciled unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. Amen.